So Loren was at an event last night. <laughs> you got to tell everyone, what was the name of the couple that you met? Because <laughs> I love this. So we met a couple named Gina and Gino. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, really? <laughs> I mean, Dallas and Loren are kind of far-fetched. <laughs> like Gina and Gino? Yeah, but that's funny because I know a Phyllis and a Phil. You don't. Like, I do. They were my parents. Like, they, I don't know them anymore. They're probably passed on, but they were my parents' friends. They didn't live in the neighborhood, but they would come to the house yeah. and, and hang. I'm, gonna think about, I'm not even sure how my parents knew Phyllis and Phil. They own the local liquor store, so I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. <laughs> but Phyllis and Phil would come to the house, and they would play, like, board games and stuff with them. But okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about, like, uh, um... We we met a couple at Pride that had, like, very similar names, too. They were both John. Yeah. Is that what it was? John and, and, and they, John? And they looked alike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they're married. <laughs> yeah, John and John from Fort Mill. I remember them. Uh, that's like a, um, like a Ken and a Kendra. Yeah. You know, um, a, I'm trying to think of some other, like, uh, um, a, Chris and Christina. Yeah. Or like Chris and Chris. Yeah. You know, K R I S C H R I S. Yeah. Um, Chrissy and Christopher. Those are funny. What about you guys know any of these? Vincenzo and Vincenza. <laughs> Maybe in Italy. <laughs> I would think that that would be, I mean, more popular for twins. Like parents do that, you know. But for you to meet each other right. and get together and become a couple with names that are that close, that's mind blowing. And you don't stop it. You're <laughs> like, we're going to do this. Like Gina and Gino. You know how that happened. They met, however they met. What's your name? I'm assuming not on an app. Okay. I'm Gina. Oh, my God, I'm Gina. Like, that's it. Yeah. And that, like, opens a whole, like, what? You know, (laughs) a whole bonding connection. Awesome teacher Sarah says that she knows a Jerry with a G. Her aunt and uncle are Jerry with a G and Jerry with a J. (laughs) Jerry and Jerry. (laughs) Ah, <laughs> huh. uh, somebody just texted in and said, my uncle's name is Ben. My aunt's name is Jerry with a G. Ben and Jerry. Stop. <laughs> All right. Keep them coming. Uh, I love this list. We'll call out a couple more like fun names. Chris and Charlotte just says I was a Chris and Chris. Oh, Mike and Mc- Michael and Mika- Michaela. Yeah. Gosh. But I but I Jim love and it. Jody. Angelo and Angela. Like, you don't stop at that point. You're like, this can't work. No, I mean, maybe it's meant to be at that point. Well, that's the other side of it. <laughs> but to me, I'd be like, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> like, my first name is Steve. If I met somebody named Stevie, I'd be like, we can't do this. Can we? But maybe you can. Like Lauren and Loren. Lauren Michaels. Yeah. Loren. Or a Lauren and Lauren. Mm-hmm. Ah, we could do this for days. <laughs> uh, Lauren, what funny name combo do you know? Hi. Um, yes. I know a guy named Joe. His wife is named Josie, but he calls her Joe. And their son is also Joe. No. So the three people, yes, yes. So her name's actually Josephine, but she goes by Joe. Their kid, they named him Joey, but he's also Joe. So <laughs> three Joes under one roof. That's not confusing. Yep, three. Jo- exa- I don't know how they do it. I, I, Nicest I mean, people. They are the funnest people to hang out with. But yeah, I don't know how they even communicate in the house. <laughs> I would imagine, they figure it out. But I would imagine they have to Thanks, be Lauren. like a fun household because they clearly had a sense of humor. Right. About it. Right. Jackie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're good. Jackie. Who do you know? Um, so my sister-in-law and brother-in-law are Matt and Maddie, but I actually have a friend, a couple of friends who lives down the street from us who are Matt and Matt T. So we have a Maddie with D's, a Matt T with T's, and their husbands are both Matt. How do you keep stories straight when you're talking about them? We have to emphasize, especially for my kids, the D and the T. (laughs) That's funny. Um, In the two... In the two names, and then Uncle Matt and Mr. Matt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, we had an Uncle Jimmy, and his oldest son is also named Jimmy, and we called him Little Jimmy growing up. Yeah, we had okay. Big Eddie and Little Eddie in so our family. Uncle Jimmy's long past, and Little Jimmy's 64, and 
I'll still call him Little Jimmy. Of course you will. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Uh, let's see. We got a text message from someone that says, my wife's name is Nicole. My name is Nick. So Nick and Nicole. Kevin Bev. Jen texted in and says, mm-hmm. I know a Kevin Bev. Uh, there was another funny one that I wanted to read. Um, shoot, they're coming. Oh, I know a Casey and Casey. That's a hard one. Casey with a C and Casey with a K. I get confused when you talk about Amanda because we have somebody here, uh, a salesperson that yeah. we love, whose name is Amanda, and we work with all the time. And then your wife, Amanda. Right. But you will just start a random conversation and said, Amanda said, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, hold on. I need context. Who are we talking about here?